Welcome back to the Vegan Test Kitchen, everyone. Today we are making a super simple yet fancy salad. It is a pear and endive salad with maple candied pecans. Yes, I said endive. No, I'm not being bougie. More on that later. So, as always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Let's get started. All right, like I said, this is gonna be a super simple recipe. And the only thing we're really cooking is these pecans because we're gonna candy them. So you need a half a cup of halved pecans and we're gonna grab a heavy bottomed pan. We're gonna heat this on a low to medium heat. While this is preheating, grab a plate and some parchment paper. And we're gonna prep the place that we're going to end up putting our pecans after they're cooked so that they can cool down. Okay, now that we're good and preheated, we're gonna throw in our pecans. We're gonna to toast these for about five minutes. We wanna make sure we toss them frequently after the first two. And after about five minutes, we're gonna sprinkle on some vegetable oil and a bit of salt. And you're gonna to toss that just to make sure everything's coated. And our final ingredient, we're gonna add our maple syrup. Mmm, smells good. Now, once this is bubbled for about 30 seconds, we're pretty much done. We're gonna to toss it onto our plate. We're gonna let it cool. Mmm, smells a little bit like a carnival in here, and I love it. All right, so we're gonna let this cool. You can stick it in the fridge if you want, and that's probably what I'm gonna do because it's not gonna take us that long to prepare the rest of the salad. Fun fact! The pronunciation of this word does actually matter. Now, normally I wouldn't spend that much time on pronunciations of words because they can differ drastically depending on what part of the world or country or culture that you grow up in. However, this word does refer to two separate veggies depending on how you say it. Endive is what we commonly know as that curly-headed chicory lettuce that has a bitter taste. And endive, or Belgian endive, is also part of the chicory family, but the growing process is a bit more complicated. In fact, it's said that Belgian endive is so special that it's grown twice, and that's because it pretty much is. Once the chicory grows in the fields, the leafy tops are chopped off, the roots are then transplanted in dark rooms where it's grown for a second time. And that's when it produces these pale, delicate, cigar-shaped heads called endive. All right, now we're gonna grab three endives. And I gave them a nice little wash. And then what we're gonna do is just cut these into half-inch pieces widthwise. All right, now we're gonna stick these into a bowl. And then we're gonna chop our pear. Now the pear that you need is either an anjou, which I couldn't find, or any kind of soft pear. This is a Bartlett, and you want it very ripe. We're just gonna cut these into bite-sized pieces. So did not say to peel this, so I'm not gonna do that. Unless there's some ugly bits, like, you know, that. All right, we're gonna throw our pears into this bowl. And we're gonna to toss this with our grapeseed oil and our white balsamic vinegar. All right, time to grab our pecans out of the fridge. Let's see if they've cooled down enough. I believe they have. All right, so we're just gonna break these a bit. I guess they could probably stand to cool down a little bit longer because it's some of the maple syrup's a little bit stringy still, which I have a feeling it's gonna be like that regardless because you have globs of it. So try to even it out when you spread it, unlike me. This looks messier than it really is. I mean, the syrup, the maple syrup's really not sticking to your, your fingers that much. It just looks like it is. Hmm. Let's try it. Gotta get a little of everything. It's a very crisp light, clean salad, even though it has some oil in it. Grapeseed oil tends to have a little lighter of a taste though, I think. And the Belgian endive is a little bit delicate too, so everything's really light. The maple candy pecans are so good. And they're a great little addition to this. I think this would be a perfect little appetizer salad that you would 
put at the beginning of some kind of fancy meal. It, it seems a little, a little fancy AF because, first of all, the Belgian endive was a little expensive, I think. Then the simplicity of it, plus with the candied pecans, I think it adds something extra to it that you don't normally have on a salad. It's really, it's really interesting. Anytime like I'm making candied pecans, I think of like Thanksgiving and the holidays and all that stuff. So that automatically throws me in the fall. It's a really unique, simple, fancy dish. I like it. And honestly, I think this would be a great little appetizer at Thanksgiving too. Why not? Go extra. Make this cute little thing. All right, y'all, I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. And make sure to subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. I'll see y'all next time. So delicate little baby. Baby lettuce is so delicate. The pronunciation, 